Hi everybody, I wanted to quickly show you guys the four Wiz games that we have. Speed Wiz, Search Wiz, Wiz Kids, and Number Wiz. So I'm gonna quickly go through the four games and how they work, and um, since they're already out here on the table, yes? So let's start with Speed Wiz. So Speed Wiz is for eight to adult. Um, it is a fast paced category game, and you can play it multiple different ways. So right here you can see the different um, cards. One way you can play is of course take that away and then have your team or your opponents, depending on how you play, guess the word. Or you can do it the opposite and have these covered up and they need to guess that word. You can also play um, where you have a certain time limit and you do as many as possible etc etc so that is speed whiz the next one is search whiz search whiz is for five and up um but i do play it with my son who's three and i had a lot of people during the first lockdown who actually um bought it because they were doing zoom online with their like kindergarten classes for example and they wanted to use it so search whiz has two different levels the one being one blue two being the two blue circles um, on one side, it's a picture. So for example, my son, he cannot read yet. So I would show him this one and I'd ask him what it is. It's a circle and then he'd have to find something circle in the house. If your kids are older in three different languages, you can play and they would have to read it and then go find it. So this one, for example, is a little trickier, jagged. To change up the game a little bit, there's some cards like this one, two opposites. So if I um gave the jagged one they need to then pick something jagged in the house and something smooth which is the opposite so you can play that way one hack if you do play the search whiz game is be sure to put um have the last challenge that the kids have to put all of their things back and then they win so that you don't have little piles of stuff you can have that as the last challenge and then we have whiz kids as you guys can see here, WizKids has letters and then it has topics, a city or a town, something that embarrasses you. And then the letters have different points. So for example, if I'm playing with my husband, we could play that we have the same letter and the D's not here, like this one. And we have to come up with something that embarrasses us with the letter K within a minute. If we get the same one, it doesn't count. If we choose a different word, we'd get six points per word. Or we could play that everyone playing gets their own letter and they do it that way as well. You can play it online, which most of you guys have played this if you are in my VIP group, for example. Um, if you have a small business or an online business, you can buy these and do that as well. Um, so much fun. The last one is Number Wiz. Number Wiz is a math game. It is for seven years and up, just like Wiz Kids. So what you would do is you would spin the spinner, which I didn't do a good job because I have one hand here, but um, a two. So you have seven cards and you would try to make an equation equaling two. The more um, cards you get rid of, the better it is because you'll be winning. So I could use... <laughs> um, I could use... Um, one plus one equals two and get rid of two cards. Or I could use seven minus three is four, right? Four, um, plus five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then minus seven if I had another minus seven. I'd get rid of tons of cards and I'd be winning. So that's how you would play that game. If your kids love math, they'll love this game. If they are struggling, it's an awesome opportunity for you to play a game and teach them and help them to um, sharpen those skills. So, number whiz, whiz kids, search whiz, speed whiz. These are amazing games um, that I think every household should have. That's it for now. Talk to you later. Bye.